Hello everyone, welcome to Sources Classes. So in this video again we will be continuing our discussion with respect to questions pertaining to the quantity reactive section of the paper. So if we talk about the QA section in general, this year around we have seen the questions to be a little bit on the difficult side as compared to previous years questions. That is uh, what we have seen this year that each and every question that we have seen come across the paper were more calculation intensive and required a lot more time to solve and get right. Okay. So this in turn increase the difficulty level of the paper. So what we will be doing is we will be taking a particular question from the paper itself and then subsequently we will try and solve the same. So whenever we come across a question such as this uh, further down the line in any examination, we are easily able to solve them. Okay. So with that being said, let us uh, just focus on the questions in front of us and try and solve the same. Let n be a natural number such that n equal to a into b. Okay. When a and B are distinct factors of N. So how many such sets of A and B if N is 24 into 33? Okay. So basically uh, we have N equal to 24 into 33. So now let me do something. Let me represent the same in terms of its uh, prime factors. So 24 can be written as 2. 12, 2, 6, 2, 3. So 24 uh, can be written as cube into 3 and 33 can be written as 3 into 11. Uh, that is the only way. So therefore n can be actually written as 2 cube into uh, 3 square into 11. Okay. This is what we have. Now if I have to find the number of factors in this regards. So that would simply be 3 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 1 plus 1. Okay. That is 4, 3, 2 or 24. So number of factors will be 24. Now uh, let us try and understand the question. Okay. It said that we need to represent n in terms of a into b and we need to find uh, the possible sets of number of possible sets of a b basically we need to represent n as product of two numbers okay so this is how this is the entire gist of the question over here so we need to represent n as a product of two numbers okay now look at one thing so we have total number of factors total is 24 and this 24 factors can be actually written as uh, can be written like 12 factors into 12 factors okay if we do that we can simply get the result so Basically, uh, what we will be doing whenever we are asked to find the product of uh, two numbers, how to represent any number as a product of two distinct numbers, we can actually simply, uh, let me give you the formula, number of ways to represent as product of two numbers. This can be given as a number of factors by 2. Okay. So in this regards also we can simply write number of factors. Make sure you keep a note of this particular formula. Number of factors by 2 or uh, 24 by 2 that is 12. This will be our answer. So I hope this question is clear to you. I don't think there should be any issue with respect to the understanding. Just keep the formula on way. So that should be more than enough. Okay. Now if you are looking for a detailed solution of the entire paper pertaining to all the section or are looking for guidance in respect to your competitive exam preparation or if you have any doubt with regards to any subject or topic on which you need explanation upon, feel free to connect with us and we will be more than happy to help you so in this regards. Okay. Feel free to connect with us. Now, if you like the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can keep coming up with relevant content such as this further down the line as well. So, with that.
all that said, I'll be signing out. Thank you so much.